In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to identify a fake pair of Maui Gym sunglasses. One of the pairs that I'm holding right now is fake and the other is real. Now, up until recently, the only fake Maui Gym sunglasses were absolutely awful fakes. They just had a Maui Gym logo slapped on a pair of generic aviator style sunglasses and it was super easy to tell which was real and which was fake. You didn't have to even look twice. But unfortunately, these companies making fake Maui Gym sunglasses have definitely been stepping up their game and now it's a little bit harder to tell. Now the reason I'm actually making this video is I actually bought a fake pair of Maui Gyms myself. I actually got duped on uh, eBay. As you guys know, I definitely recommend staying away from eBay, but I just happened to see this pair of sunglasses, the Maui Gym Cook Pines. They're a very new style of sunglasses. They've only been around for about six months, so I definitely didn't think that they were going to be fake. The description had these sunglasses as new, and they also showed a clamshell case, and they also showed the actual box. And they were shipping from Japan. Now Japan is actually where these sunglasses are made, so I'm like, this definitely is isn't that crazy. The MSRP of these sunglasses is $250 and end up winning an auction for $100, which isn't actually that crazy. If it was buy it now for $100, they'd definitely be fake, but sometimes you can actually win some pretty decent auctions on eBay. But of course, this is an example of why you don't buy designer sunglasses on eBay. I think the first red flag was when it actually shipped from Korea and not Japan like they said they were going to ship. I'm not trying to throw some shade at Korea, but when buying anything, Japan is always a much better and safer market to buy from than Korea. After ordering them, I received them in mail about a week later, and then I opened it up and I opened up the box and I was completely expecting them to be a real pair of sunglasses until I actually got my hands on them. Now I've handled hundreds of different pairs of Maui Gym sunglasses, so just by handling them, I can really tell if something feels a little bit off, and these felt a lot a bit off, even though they came in the original box with paperwork and everything like that. So that being said, let's jump into a high quality video of me comparing a real pair versus a fake pair and showing you guys what you need to look at to make sure that your pair of sunglasses is 100% authentic. Okay, so here we have the fake and the real Maui Gym sunglasses set up. But before watching more of this video, I'm very interested. What pair do you think is real and what pair do you think is fake? Leave a comment in the comment section on below before watching any more of this video. Let's see how good you guys are at guessing. Well, if you guys picked the left pair as being real, you guys guessed right. This left pair is the authentic Maui Gym sunglasses, and the pair to the right here are the fakes. Probably one of the biggest giveaways is the box. The box on the real pair of Maui Gym sunglasses is much more vibrant and much more colorful, where the fake Maui Gym box looks very dull and just doesn't look really good at all. So this is what a real Maui Gym box is going to look like. It's going to be very bright and vivid. Uh, take a look at the logo and the texturing here. And also take a look at this label. This label is going to be on every single pair of authentic Maui Gym sunglasses. If it doesn't have a label or any stickiness where a label used to be, it is definitely a fake box. Let's put this box down and now pick up the fake box. So here on the fake box, we can see that there is no Maui Gym bird right next to the Maui Gym logo like there was here on the original and we can also see that this little darker texture shade here really isn't nearly as nice as it is on the real box also taking a look at the side here we can see that the fake pair has Maui Jim's old logo and the real pair has Maui Jim's new bird logo let's put both these boxes to the side here and now we'll talk about the actual cases over here to the left we're going to again of course get a real Maui Jim case and this is what the case is going to look on a real pair of Maui Jim sunglasses it's going to have the gold Maui Jim logo and it's also going to have this nice tan inlining which is going to feel very nice and soft now taking a look at the soft pouch that comes with a real pair of Maui Gym sunglasses, we can see this really nice kind of like a rope. It's almost like a papery rope. And it's going to again ship on every pair of Maui Gym sunglasses. The rope is really nice and pretty premium. And it just looks very nice. Now let's put this to the side. And now let's take a look at the fake Maui Gym box. So from outside, both these cases look very similar. It's really hard to tell the difference of which one is real and which one is fake. The logo actually looks really good. Opening this up, we can see a very, very shiny Maui Gym logo. And then we can see a little bit of imperfections here in the inner part of the case. The fake Maui Gym sunglasses also came with uh, some plastic here, which we'll put to the side for now. And then inside the fake Maui Gym case, we're going to see a fake Maui Gym bag. So here we can see more of a twine, more of a basically ropey material. 
and that is definitely fake, and that's never going to be seen on a real pair of Maui Gym sunglasses. If the soft pouch that came with your Maui Gym sunglasses come with a uh, tweed with a rope like this, it's definitely going to be fake. All right, so now it's time to actually compare the real pair against the fake. Here's what a real pair of Maui Gym sunglasses logo is going to look like. It's going to be silver and it's gonna kind of be etched, uh, also painted into the lens. And again, this is what it looks like on the real pair. And now let's take a look what the fake pair is going to look like. As you can see here, it is a gold material and it's not etched or anything like that. It's just very simple and flat. Now this is what the nose rest on a real Maui Jim pair of sunglasses is going to look like. It's going to have Maui Jim's bird logo here etched in the metal of the nose rest. And on the fake, we can see here there isn't any metal logo or anything like that. It is just a very simple and basic nose rest. Now let's take a look at the weld on a real pair of Maui Jim sunglasses. As we can see, the weld is very crisp and very nice. It's, it's an extremely nice weld, and I apologize for the shakiness, but here we can clearly see how nice the weld is and how smooth it is, and how there's not a lot of excess solder. Now here is the fake pair of Maui Jim sunglasses, and here we can see that the weld is just very sloppy and messy, and really doesn't look good at all. So again, here on the fake, it just looks really, really bad, and that's going to be a dead giveaway. Alright, so now let's take a look at the ear rest, and here we can see the ear rest on a real pair of Maui Jim sunglasses. The tortoise frames look very tortoisey, and they look very nice and smooth. And here are the fake frames, and here we can see on the fake Maui Jims it looks terrible. It's almost like a flecky and not a real tortoise, and this colorway doesn't actually exist for the Cook Pines. So we'll take a look at the screws, and this is the authentic pair of Maui Jim sunglasses that we're seeing right here. Here we can see it's a Phillips screw, and look how smooth the actual metal is and how premium the material is on the real pair of Maui Jim sunglasses. Take a look at the fake Maui Jim sunglass hinges, and here we can see it doesn't look nearly as premium as the real, and here we can see it's just a standard screw and not a Phillips screw, and the polished frame looks a little bit too shiny. And here's the original listing that I ended up winning. We can see the sunglasses were new of tags and they did ship from Japan. And take a look at the seller here. And also take a look at this gray background that the sunglasses are on. It came new with the clamshell case and with the box. So I just assumed they were going to be a real pair of sunglasses. I contacted the seller and let them know that I knew they were selling fake sunglasses and they told me about two hours later to just keep the sunglasses and don't bother returning them. And they of course also gave me a full refund, which guarantees that they are a fake pair of sunglasses. If they were real, they'd want me to return them. So after that, I did a little bit more digging and found that there are tons of fake Maui Jim sunglasses now being sold all over eBay. And I know that they're fake because they're from a whole bunch of different sellers with low feedback and they have the exact same gray background as the listing that I won. And of course, all these other sellers are also from Japan, so very fishy and very fake. This seller has actually sold a pair of Kawikas for $220 and they're complete fakes. So there's people getting scammed on eBay left and right buying fake sunglasses and they don't even know it. I think a lot of you guys already know not to buy Ray-Ban sunglasses on eBay because they're so easily faked and I'd say probably about 50% of all Ray-Bans sold on eBay are absolutely 100% fakes. And now apparently a lot of Maui Jim sunglasses sold on eBay are also fakes. And this is why I recommend you buy your sunglasses on Amazon. It's much harder to become a seller on Amazon and any sellers that are caught selling fakes get shut down in a matter of days and don't make any money because Amazon doesn't give any money to them. And that means that there's really no sellers selling fake sunglasses on Amazon. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If it was helpful, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit my subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video to this YouTube channel. But that's all I got for you guys in this video and I'll catch you all in the next one.